Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at wireless decks. Now in this video I'm going to be using the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, but I'm 100% sure it works on the Tab S7, the Note 20, and the Galaxy Fold 2. I think it may work on other devices with the latest updates from Samsung, but I'm not 100% on that. So if it is working on something like your S10 or your S20, let me know in the comments below. So if you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, basically this is built into all of their flagship Samsung devices, and it basically switches your Android operating system over to a desktop-friendly operating system. So it's kind of just like having an Android-based desktop. And in the past, in order to get this up and running on an external display, you needed a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Now on the tablets, it'll work directly on the built-in screen, or you could use an adapter like this, and they also had Dex on Windows. It's an application for Windows that allows you to plug your phone or your tablet into your machine and display Dex on that screen, be it a laptop or a desktop. But in my opinion, it kind of defeated the whole purpose of this thing. But now with these newer Samsung devices and the latest version of Dex, you can actually cast this to a screen, be it a television or a monitor that supports Miracast. And that's a big thing here. Miracast has to be supported by your display or the device connected to your display in order to get this to work wirelessly. Unfortunately, this won't work with a majority of the higher-end Android TVs, be it the Mi Box, the Nvidia Shield, the new Chromecast with Google TV built in, and I personally haven't had any luck with this working on a Fire TV device either. So what I'm using here is one of the cheaper Roku devices. Roku does support Miracast, you can cast your entire screen directly over there. And a lot of newer LG, Samsung, Sony, Hisense, and even on TVs do support this directly out of the box, so you might not even need a separate dongle to get this up and running. But for me, I'm using a BenQ monitor here with the Roku Stick Plus hooked up to it. But in my living room, I have an LG TV, and it actually works perfectly because it does support Miracast. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to set this up, and then we're going to get right into some testing. Okay, so first things first, both devices have to be on the same local network. I prefer using AC Wi-Fi or 5 GHz Wi-Fi because it does work much better here. We're going to drag down from the top and find our DEX icon. You can just hold it. It's going to bring up a menu here, and it's going to show me all of the wireless devices that I can connect to. I have a few in the house, as you can see here, but I'm going to go with this Roku Stick Plus. Now the TV or device you're going to cast to will prompt you to allow access from that tablet or phone, so go ahead and grab that remote, allow access, and you're connected. We're now running DEX wirelessly from this tablet to this monitor here. So as you can see, DEX is actually running independently from Android running on the tablet itself. I mean, we're still using the same RAM, we're still using the same CPU, but we can run both operating systems simultaneously. And you can also use your tablet or phone as a touchpad. Just draw down from the top on your tablet or phone, and in the notification section, just tap on this, and your tablet or phone is now a touchpad for Samsung DeX, so you don't need to connect a Bluetooth or wireless keyboard, but I prefer doing it that way. So of course, there will be a little bit of latency here, and I'm sure it's going to work better with different devices. If you have a Samsung TV that supports Miracast, it might work better with this because it is a Samsung device. But overall, if you're connected to a decent internet connection, especially for browsing the internet, editing documents, maybe some light photo editing and things like that, it'll work perfectly fine. Now, I wouldn't want to play, let's say, Call of Duty Mobile on something like this because the latency will get you there. But I still think this is totally usable for some use case scenarios. Now, personally, I would prefer connecting over HDMI, especially if I'm this close to a monitor. All I have to do is plug in my Type-C to HDMI adapter, but if you're sitting on the couch and you want a bigger screen, you can always cast this to your TV as long as it supports Miracast and get some work done that way. So whenever I use DeX, I plug in a keyboard and mouse. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, it'll connect right to your tablet or phone, or you can use a USB Type-C adapter with a wireless keyboard-mouse combo like this little Logitech that I have. This is just a USB Type-C to full-size USB adapter. I plug in my keyboard-mouse dongle, and then I plug it right into the tablet or phone. And it'll work right in DeX. So now I have a keyboard and mouse connected to DeX. And you don't even need the screen on your tablet or phone for DeX to still work wirelessly. I'm going to close this up, just set it to the side. I still have my mouse and keyboard connected. And everything's still working really well. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a game here. I also have a Bluetooth controller connected to my tablet. We're going to go with, let's say, Asphalt 9. Just see how it performs here. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this wirelessly if you're playing competitive games, 
but for arcade racers and crossy road type games, it should be perfectly fine. So I'm just using a Bluetooth controller. This is the Moga XP5X. It's connected to the tablet, not the Roku, not the screen. And I do have touch drive off, so I will have to steer this car. And yeah, of course, I do notice some latency here steering the car around. But uh, I'm not playing online or anything like that. Just having some fun with this arcade racer. And I think it's perfectly playable. Now, HDMI would be much better here. I mean, there's no latency at all between the tablet and the screen when you're connected over HDMI. But going wireless will introduce some, and I'm sure some other games will have worse input latency. Let's go ahead and test one more. Let's go with Minecraft. And this will go full screen. There's no icon to do it. You just got to let the cursor hover for a second and then double tap. Minecraft will go full screen in Dex mode. Ooh, yeah, latency is way worse with this one here. I suspected this would happen with certain games. Uh, we are connected over Bluetooth and we're casting the screen wirelessly to this display. So we got a lot of latency introduced in between this and the inputs. So a setup like this is definitely not ideal for gaming. So we'll just test one more thing here. We'll go with some YouTube video playback. I'll go ahead and launch it. And if you do want to search using the tablet or phone as a touchpad, you do have a keyboard that comes up, so you can type in anything you need. And with video playback on something like this, it's going to work just fine because we have no reference. I mean, latency isn't going to be there because we're only displaying it on a single screen here. And this is definitely not at 1080p. Let me go ahead and set it. This does have a long draw on it. I wonder if there's a way to adjust this before I get to the end of the screen. I just go all the way across that tablet. I wish it was a little faster. It would track a little better. So yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't have any reference for this video playing on the tablet. So there's no latency while the video is playing. Sounds right on. It's coming out of the monitor. And by the way, you can set it for your monitor or TV speakers or keep the sound coming from the tablet or phone speakers. So overall, for what we're working with here, I do think it works quite well. And this is actually the first iteration of wireless decks. I'm sure it's going to get better in the future. But one of the things that I was just kind of messing around with was kind of using this in reverse. Instead of using wireless decks as my main display, I was focusing on decks itself as the main display. Why not just have that as your secondary display? As you can see, I got a web browser up. I got Google Play, watching a video, and on my tablet, I can play my games. Now this actually works quite well because we're still running decks from the tablet itself, but I don't have to focus on the latency when it comes to gaming using wireless decks. Now in the end, when it really comes down to it, if you want to game on decks, just plug in with HDMI. But this is another way to have a secondary display. We're talking about decks here as our secondary and our tablet screen is going to be our main play field. And I think wireless decks works out really great like this. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If there are any updates in the future on latency or anything like that, I will keep you posted. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running with DeX or just the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus in general, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.